I just got back from my first and only class of the day and that is uh, child development and we were talking about we're doing a whole unit on like gender development which is pretty interesting I'm just gonna make lunch and then I'm probably gonna go to the library to study because I have a midterm tomorrow that I haven't done a lot of studying for so yeah yummy So for lunch today, I kind of decided to branch out, you know, do something a little bit more different, a little bit more complicated, you know, change it up. And uh, I will show you what I'm making. That's pasta. Okay, I finished lunch and I lied. I don't think I'm gonna go to the library. I just, I'm feeling a little bit too lazy. So I'm literally just gonna go to the study room in residence and get hopefully a lot of studying done. Please. It looks like it might rain later and I did not bring an umbrella with me or a raincoat. So I might have to go back later before my meeting for my club. But yeah, just getting to the commons block to study. in that study room for like three hours and yes it's raining right now so i'm going back home to get a rain jacket and get a snack actually i was there for three hours and a half because it's 4 40 now 4 45 it's freaking raining and it's windy but i'm going to my meeting for the photo society oh my lord it's windy Whew. So I finished my meeting for the photo sock. Now I'm just gonna go home and study. Oh, it's raining and study. Out to the rain we go. Yep, it's windy. Okay, so I'm home now and I have a lot of things to do today. I have a midterm exam tomorrow, so I really gotta study for that. I have a case assignment due for my business class tomorrow. So I have to read the case and do the assignment questions as well for tomorrow. And I have to do a lot of marketing for the UBC Photo Society Club. So I have to do like some Instagram graphics and Instagram stories for that. And I kind of wanted to work get a workout in, but um... <laughs> yeah, I did not work out, but I did everything else. And then I went to sleep. walking to my exam now and I'm not gonna lie I'm not as prepared as I would like to be it's just like that point in the semester where my motivation starts to drop but hopefully it goes well wish me luck uh I don't know why I said that because you literally can't wish me luck for something that already happened uh yeah okay so I finished writing my exam and I literally have no idea how that went but either way it's over and I'm gonna go reward myself by going to Triple O's and buying myself some good food because it's Triple O Tuesday. gonna skype my boyfriend he told me to go online and i called and it says that he's offline so well 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 
look who decided to actually show up. All right, so it's currently 2.03 a.m. and that's actually pretty standard for me lately, which is really bad. I have a terrible sleep schedule. I should probably fix that soon. Um, but I did take off my makeup. I'm actually just gonna go brush my teeth and then I'm gonna go to bed and then I will see you in the morning. Alright, so this morning I woke up a little bit late and I kind of had to rush, but I'm actually on time. Um, I know that my class starts at 11, so waking up late is pretty late, but I did think I fell asleep at like 2.40 a.m. or something like that, so... I mean, I feel like that's a little bit more acceptable, but yeah, just going to my first class right now. get a few things done here and I'm gonna head over to the psychology building because I'm participating in two research studies and the way that it works some psychology classes allow you to participate in these studies to get some extra credit and I'm not opposed to extra credit so I'm definitely gonna go do that and I'm gonna take you along with me machine and as soon as I paid I realized I basically have no balance left to pay for the drying so I'm gonna go refill my laundry card in the comments block <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing like some quick ab and butt workouts just like from YouTube to get that workout in because health in the shower this morning washing my hair and whatnot and now I'm running like 10 minutes late which is really not great but the shower was so toasty and I totally underestimated how long I spent in there <sighs> off to a great start today off to just a great start <music> So I just had a very quick group meeting after my class and now I'm just gonna head to the next building for my next class and like do some work there. Um, yeah. <laughs>
I'm just walking home to get some lunch because it's 2 p.m. and I'm freaking hungry. All right, so it's currently 5.55 and I have a self-defense workshop at 6.15 and I've always wanted to do one of these even though it makes me a little bit nervous, but last term it just didn't work out with my schedule and the one that did work was co-ed and I just feel like I'm gonna feel so much more comfortable in an all girls class. So this one is all girls and it works with my schedule. So I'm excited to see how it works and learn some new skills that will hopefully never have to be put to use. from Hit and Run Self Defense. He was C Recreation in, uh, in coordination with housing, brought us into two classes uh, for free for the students on campus and housing where you live. And it's being held at different camp uh, uh, housing blocks all over the, the campus. If you get a chance to come and do it, we're gonna show you in 90 minutes how to do all sorts of awesome stuff to protect yourself, the immediate skills you can take away. They do it usually twice a term, once a term, and the next one will probably be in the fall. Yes. All right, I just got back from that self-defense workshop and I am so happy that I signed up for it because before this, my knowledge of good self-defense technique was extremely minimal. And as someone who is very short and feeling very incapable of defending myself, it was great to learn moves that didn't rely on size or muscle that could get me away from a potentially very dangerous uh, situation. So huge shout out to UBC residents for covering the cost of these workshops and to hit and run self-defense. Um, obviously this is not sponsored. I just genuinely think it's a great thing. Okay, it is currently 2.26 a.m. and um, that's, that's my bedtime, so I think I'm gonna go to sleep. If I look like I barely slept, it's because I barely slept. Um, I had like terrible insomnia last night and then in the morning they're like renovating the hallway in my building and in the morning there was this really loud noise of just like construction noises and uh i'm not doing well but i still have class so i still look so tired uh, okay, I just got back from my childhood development class and it was so interesting today. We were just talking about gender identity and gender fluidity, transgender identity, intersex, all that stuff. And it was really cool to see like the biology aspect of it, but then also the socialization. I don't know, it was just a very interesting class. Um, I have a psych study that I'm participating in at 1 p.m. today, so I'm gonna go do that later. Okay, so they just collected some saliva samples and then we did some questionnaires and now they told me to just come in this room and sit here for 20 minutes and then they're gonna collect a saliva sample later. Okay, now I'm just heading to a darkroom workshop with the Photo Society. Um, I don't actually do any film photography, but I find it really interesting and cool. It is 3.28 a.m. and I was just doing some work and editing a video for like four hours or so. Um, so it's time to go to sleep. All right, so I'm gonna go grocery shopping because there's basically no food in my apartment. Um, so I need to go do that. I'm going to save on foods. I usually will not go there just because things are a little bit more expensive, but this time I have a gift card. So that's why I'm gonna go to save on foods and get all my stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'm done grocery shopping. I have my two bags. I'm holding them. Um, now I'm just gonna go home. You suck. What? You're stupid. You suck.
I have a whole bunch of tattoos. So I just got back from St. Patrick's like festivities a little bit early because I didn't really feel like going out all that late just because we started early. But I literally got McDonald's and I'm probably gonna watch Netflix and then that is all there really is to this.